in the UK and I think possibly other parts of Europe. Um, TVs, of course, were analog then. Um, there was no digital TV for another 20 odd years. Um, but what the, but the, the analog signal effectively only used about half of the transmit time. For about half of the time, it was in flyback um, horizontally or vertically. Um, and, and this time was allowed uh, for fairly antiquated analog circuits to keep up. And this meant that there were, there were lines that were not used for transmitting a picture. And in the UK and Europe, um, some fairly simple digital information was overlaid on those lines um, in a system um, that uh, became known as, as CFAX or Teletext. I think there were, there were different trade names depending on which broadcaster you were referring to. These used a particularly efficient mode of display where with a kilobyte of RAM you could basically fill a TV screen with multicolored text and fairly blocky graphics. And the BBC was keen that the BBC Micro um, supported that display standard. Uh, so this was added to the basic Proton architecture. Um, it was quite tricky to add because the Proton um, used display modes that were uh, divided down from 16 megahertz bit rates. Teletext display required 6 megahertz. Okay, and uh, uh, it's fairly easy to spot that 6 megahertz isn't easily arrived at by dividing 16 megahertz. Um, it doesn't go. No. So I, I, I came up with a, what I think was a really rather a neat fudge. Um, it was done digitally, it didn't use a phase lock loop or anything that complicated. Um, it basically used edges um, in the 16 megahertz signal that were reasonably close and then rather crude RC delays to just shift them a little bit in the right direction to produce something that was fairly close to a real 6 megahertz signal.